All right, topic number two is going to be landing in decoupled mode. So the purpose of landing in decoupled mode is to get a feel for a smooth transition from air to ground. You should be a nice gliding gently transition. So in this exercise, you're going to learn how to combine the use of your top and bottom thrusters and or space brake if you want to use space brake to land. So definitely want to make sure your landing gear is down. Try to aim to land gently at less than 10 meters per second. Oops, sorry, that's my timer going off. Um, yep, uh, try to maintain less than a 10 meter per second speed as you gently glide to the ground. And yeah, go ahead and do so at this time. And once you are landed, uh, watch my stream so I can demonstrate. Are we training for the Empire Shack? Yes, we are. <laughs> I, I heard that. <laughs> I can't seem to get my ships to go down in coupled mode with the gears down. Um, so, once your gear is down, you no longer need to fight gravity. So, what you're going to have to do is engage your top thrusters ever so slightly and gently push yourself to the ground. Um, Ooh, hard landing for off. Yep, try to keep it okay. nice oh, no. and slow. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there she goes. Oh, no. I think I was having problems with this ship before, too, with the. Uh... I might pull out. What was another one? 85X? Yep, that's a good one. So I think what I observed there is the razor is very strong, and uh, you tried to give it a nudge of uh, down thrust, let's say, and it went really fast. All right, so okay. if everyone can direct your attention to, my, uh, to the Discord stream and watch my point of view, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to land. So right now I have my landing gear up. Um, I'm using my bottom thrusters ever so slightly to maintain altitude. I'm going to engage my landing gear. So now it is down and now I'm not using my bottom thrusters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently use my top thrusters to start to come down. I'm at about 26, 25. I'm going to engage my bottom thrusters or space brake. And I'm just going to let it gently come down. So what's happening is <clears throat> when your landing gear is down, you enter what I think is called a vector lock mode. So basically locks your vector in place uh, when you let off the throttle. So let me demonstrate that again to, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So my landing gear is down. I'm static at zero meters per second. I'm going to gently use my top thrusters and now I'm completely hands off my, my sticks. So I enter what I think is called a vector lock mode, but essentially your ship stays, um, it basically just keeps going. Um, another thing that you can do is right now I use the teeny bit of my mains and I'm basically just, it's, I'm just slowly gliding by itself. I can roll, I can pitch, I can yaw, but I'm still going in that same direction. So just make sure that your landing gear is down and that you are at a about 10 meters per second so that you can slowly glide gently to the ground. So feel free to go back to your ships and practice this exercise. Go up to a comfortable altitude for you. Engage your landing gear. Gently use your top thrusters 
to push yourself down to the ground. Once you get very close to the ground, make sure you're at about 10 or less than 10 meters per second. And to uh, slow your speed, either use space brake or gently nudge on your bottom thrusters so that you can gently land to the ground. We're going to be doing this exercise for 10 minutes. Using the space brake to land is the thing that I've been missing that made will stop my landing from being super jerky. Oh, Congrats. somebody just blew up their wings. For some reason, I've always only ever used like up thrust to try and stop the landing speed. Yep, whatever you're comfortable with, every ship's going to feel different as far as not only the weight of the ship, but also the amount of power that the bottom thrusters have. Um, and space break is going to feel slightly different as well. So for some of like the heavier ships, like the 350R, you might want to space break a little earlier. Whereas something as nimble as a Razor with strong thrusters, you'll pretty much get <clears throat> a very quick response when you use your thrusters, whether it's the bottom thrusters or space break. And I think uh, Athi got that feeling uh, the, learned that the hard way with using the top thrusters a little too much. You want to use it very gently. Jack, uh, Marble just made her way back. Could you explain to her again what gear down mode does with coupled off and give her a pointer to land? Yep, so f when you have landing gear down, whatever um, vector that you are going in, which is uh, speed and direction, it's going to keep that locked. So for example, if you have your landing gear down and if you were to use your main thrusters to go forward, you're going to see your TVI. And once you completely let go of your mouse and keyboard or your sticks, your ship's just going to start going in that direction and it's going to maintain that direction and speed. So you want to use that vector lock mode or vector lock to your advantage when you land so what you want to do is again have landing gear engaged or landing gear down and you want to gently nudge on your top thrusters to push yourself down ever so slightly you're going to see your tvi um, show up at the bottom of your screen if you're leveled out and try to stay um, less than 10 meters per second and yeah just gently push yourself down if you want to slow yourself down use either space brake or your bottom thrusters very gently and it should be a nice smooth transition from air to ground and and Shaq, you said that's only Thanks. in decoup decoupled mode right this is in decoupled mode correct Got this it. does not work in coupled mode coupled mode is kind of like flying in automatic what it's going to do is your thrusters are going to engage automatically to keep you uh static to where you currently are it's going to try to keep you in place so if you're hovering in the air coupled mode is basically going to use a combination of uh, bottom, top, lats, whatever, however your ship is oriented to keep you at that, uh, in like a static position. So you definitely want to turn that off so that you have full control of your ship. It's a lot easier if uh, you have dual sticks or stick and throttle. Um, Is, uh, by default, is the uh, boost while space braking 
turned on? I I actually don't know. Can anyone answer that? It's, it's yeah, on by default. default. Yeah. So you might want to turn that off, or it might be pretty twitchy when you're going in if you're using space break to land. Stopping real fast. So I'm I'm trying to convince CIG uh, of giving us this mode where your landing gear is down as a toggle that we can always access because it's a really nice feeling in between decoupled and coupled mode for especially keyboard users because it's so gentle. Um, so yeah, if you ever talk to CIG, tell them we want that. <laughs> landing landing practice is also probably a really good time to bring up proximity assist as a thing that everyone should go make sure is off. Absolutely. So if you haven't had a chance to look at the pin section in the racing school, uh, Black Maze made some super handy dandy ground school cards. And one of those cards goes over, let me pull it up real quick, uh, basic preparation. Uh, there's a pre-flight checklist in there, uh, and it does go over uh, disabling your G-safe and disabling proximity assist alerts. Uh, it also goes over making sure your TVI is always set to on, uh, making sure that your power is always set to engines, and component stripping. So since I'm already talking about it, I'll quickly mention it. Um, for racing, you're not going to need your shields, so those should come off. You're not going to use your weapons unless you're doing something like Crux Cup. Uh, weapons add a lot of weight, so you definitely want to remove those, as well as missiles and missile racks. Um, what else? Coolers and power plants, you only need one of each. So you only need one cooler and one power plant. The stock is fine, but if you can get a hold of Quick Cool and Lumacore, though I believe those are the lightest ones. And quantum drive. So the quantum drive weight is negligible at this time, so you can definitely keep those on. Um, for reference, for racing events, I keep my quantum drives on because it's it's just so negligible. Uh, it's only going to shape off like maybe milliseconds for, for the top level time trial guys. So um, for practice, definitely want to keep those on so you can come back to the track quicker. All right, we have about two minutes left for this exercise. Hopefully everyone has a decent understanding of how to gently land. I just did.